Hey guys. Um, yeah. Who's here? I see lots of lurkers. Nobody talking. Show yourselves. Hey guys. A farm the laugh. Do your relationship. Jean Marc Anthony Nick Van Gills. Salt toast, what up? <clears throat> Is my mic okay this time round? Is it still all crackly? Um yeah, so I had this idea this morning, and that is to write a track by first making the entire drum track, so without any musical elements, just make like from beginning to end full arrangement of just drums and trying to get the track sound like as good as possible with just the drums and then adding in the musical elements afterwards. So I want to try it and just see what results I get from that. I feel like having a different process always creates something interesting rather than just starting the same way every time. And I'm going to write the drum track from left to right. So I'm not going to like start with a full drum loop. I'm just going to basically, yeah, I'm going to write it like you would write a story, I guess. Um, so yeah, let's start with a kick drum. Lean towards this one. And we'll go to one twenty two. My kicks are loud. Hey, Alex. Okay. Um, get a hat in there. I layered with like a shaker kind of hat. Lay that back a bit. A 
and some width. Okay, so eight bars. For my intro, I'm gonna want like 16 bars, just drums basically. Um, let's get like a little bit of like percussive feel in there. I think over here, I wanna start adding in some tom groove. So here, I'm going to grab a tom. Got to decide my key. Go with... Try B flat. Um, let me EQ this a touch. I'm going to add a little bit of random to each one of these channels. some like tonal percussion. Loop that. Okay. 
Got something else there. Go to that. And I think I want to get some. Let's see, maybe a loop here. Okay.
Maybe I should play this from the beginning because it kind of really ties it all together. And I can maybe turn that off there. Yeah, I want to add some shakers in there. Maybe just a really quiet shaker that sits in the whole track. Kind of provides a bit of consistency in the high end. Another one to the right. Um, I just want like a little snare to throw in every once in a while.
Like it feels better there. Yeah, I want to kind of mark this out. Intro. Break. Drop. These action. Okay, now I want to flesh this out a bit. Let's um, grab some fills to like add some change and uh, yeah. I just went the end here.
I think that was at the right key anyway. OTT a bit. I kind of want there to be a pause here. And a clap. I want a different fill there. See what happens. What happens if we go?
is that click? Oh, that's this. I think I need to another auto filter. Yeah, I want to put this thing into key. Sounds kind of nice. Okay, now I want some other sort of hat groove to go in there. Or shaker groove or whatever. Let's try and find something. See, maybe like a thing from here. the sound.
on some sort of big drum that comes in. So that's in D. Oh, let's see. Pretty cool. I'm <clears throat> um, thinking. I just turn on ping pong here. It might sound cool.
Yeah, I don't want it as wide as it was. I kind of want that gap again. And maybe something cool with like a clave. I think it's too much. Maybe like a triangle kind of metallic sound. Well, that could be cool. It's kind of moving around. If I loop that.
kind of want um, some kind of response here. Yeah. Not really sure what the. And I feel like a crash would be good. What am I looking for? Crash, crash, crash. Uh, yeah. Actually, I have an idea. Yeah, I can do a little. Some cool pitch bands or something.
something here, what is it? I like these need maybe just a little ping pong. Let's make this look slightly different.
Here, I want to kind of wash these out a bit. that there actually. something
Yeah. I'm going to get myself into the next drop with these drums. Another thing I think I'm going to do here is start reverbing out the kick. Do some cool effects on this thing. That's like break. Pull down. And a little bit of a break. And then how long do we, so the cooldown's already 16 bars. And then we have a break of like, maybe like a build, let's call this a build. And then we'll have our drop section here. Yeah, I want some snare roll. Perfect length. Change the uh, what do you call it? 
crash. Okay, I think I want all the drums to be the same, like, just in that section, so I kind of want this, like, climax here, and I don't want to have the same tom groove. Let me think about what I want here. Yeah. Maybe a big lap. Oh no, maybe a snare. Try some weird stuff. Let's see how this sounds.
Okay, I want that. Hello again. This one. I think now how long is that? Three two bars. Yeah. Now we can have a cooldown. Maybe use the snare roll here. Even do it like that. Okay. What is going on? Free Will Burnin is on fire today. Most active member of the chat. Hang on, I'm just taking off my coat.
Um, yeah. What if these toms get boring? I'm not sure. Like this thing could be here, maybe. So now I have to add all of the melodic stuff, all the musical stuff. And I have no idea what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to start from left to right and see what story pops up. I'm going to start off. By the way, I'm using my headphones today because last week my mic bled. Um, sorry, not my mic. My speakers bled through the mic. And, uh, it sounded awful. And so now I'm using headphones and I have no idea if this mix sounds okay or not. Um, right, let's start with some... I think drone. start a little bit higher here. Use the new visions. I like um Yeah, where's when am I gonna bring the bass in? Probably over there. So let me make something that goes over here.
I want to make this. It is legato. That's pretty cool. So now I want some bass over here.
shape of the box. to do actually yeah. I feel like that's a cool sound but maybe it just needs it needs to decay off and then oh it's got gate yeah I feel like Need to do this. And put a, another bass sound under it. sub maybe Let's go with that for now. Um, grab another D that. 
I want some kind of rhythmic synth sound. such a big reverb, but I'm gonna leave it for now. Actually, I'm gonna filter it down, I think. There we go. too complicated here. like a chord. Is it a chord?
problem is that this thing is so like got so much character in it. Maybe I should be making the melody come in after it. Where is it? Like make it start over there. Could even use this thing. like a pad in here. Thank you. 
something else here. What on earth is free wheel burning on about? Slow mode. Is slow mode in? Is there a slow mode? Jesus. Okay, just time out there, buddy. Sorry, <laughs> bit much. Okay. I didn't realize time out actually deleted messages. My bad. I want some like high, higher harmonies.
just want some sort of op to be really chilled in the background. Side chain this up to do this ton thingy. Where is it? This. this to be yeah I think I'm gonna kind of like filter it down a bit and then open it up
see how this whole thing sounds. Uh, a mix. Okay, um, I really don't know where to go from here. I think I need some sort of climax synth. Maybe the ARP can become like the forefront, starting here, in a different synth.
I really don't know what to do, honestly. Um...
Maybe now I'll bring this whole thing in.
filter it back down. Okay. I have no idea how good this sounds because I'm on my headphones, but I'm going to just throw a limiter on and then we'll listen to it and see how it turned out. Time to have a little playthrough. Ready, let's go.
Oh. Yeah, I uh, switched back to my monitors and muted my mic while I was going through that. So a little bit of mixing touch-ups. That snare was pretty boxy, but I fixed that. And um, yeah, it was definitely too loud. Just shows how reliant we become on whatever sound system we get used to. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that. I think it turned out pretty nicely, but I definitely need some work. I'll check it again tomorrow and see if I still like it. But yeah, um, tomorrow is Feedback Friday. And uh, if you're not aware of it, it's probably too late, but we're doing a contest from last week when uh, with the Valencia sample pack that I made. Just like a few samples from the remake. And uh, we're seeing what people came up with over the week, writing their own music with it. Um, so we're going to check that out tomorrow. And then on Monday, I'm starting 10 tracks in 10 days live stream series. I'm going to be on every day during the week, Monday to Friday, from 12 p.m. to 3 p.m. GMT. Uh, just like today, and I'm going to be writing... Yeah, track every day, just like today. And um, yeah, so if you want to be a part of that, I'll see you there. Otherwise, I'll see you tomorrow. Cheers, guys. <laughs>